What's going on everybody and welcome back to Bourbon of the Week. As you can tell, the set behind me is not where I'm usually at. We are filming this live in front of a studio on its audience here at Bottled in King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. Welcome everybody, appreciate you joining me today. <laughs> So as I mentioned, we are here at Bottled in King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. They have three separate locations. Check them out. Two in Philadelphia, one here out in King of Prussia. Today, we are going over some Pennsylvania whiskeys. We have Epsi House, which was provided us to us by Bottled, as well as Pennsylvania, and this one right over here, which was highly recommended by people on the PA Bourbon Squad who are in the house tonight. So make sure you check out... So make sure you check out PA Bourbon Squad if you're not already following them from the Pennsylvania area. I'm gonna have Marissa, my beautiful wife, come up here. Mrs. Bourbon of the Week, pour these up for me blind. I also have samples for everybody in the audience if they wanna drink along with me. They don't know what they're drinking, I won't know what I'm drinking. Now let's drink some whiskey. Cheers, y'all. Some luck over here. Don't forget which is which. Stop sipping it. The magical sip. Traditional sip. All right, so everybody's got their samples. I've got mine poured up. While these are blind, we can probably tell what at least one of these is, but everybody knows before we get started. Time for the traditional sip. Cheers, y'all. Cheers. That's the pencil tucky. Gwen, what are you doing? Everybody see which one you like the best. You guys will tell me which one you like the best at the end and I'll tell you which ones I like as I go. So I'm gonna talk about these bottles a little bit as I go. This is Pennsylvania. This is out of Mid-State Distillery. This is from Harrisburg, if anybody here is from the Harrisburg area. The reason I like this, lot, this bottle a lot from Pennsylvania is it's very uh, transparent about the different things about it. This is barrel number one. This is a port finished five grain bourbon. So anybody here drinking tonight that gets that port finish, that wine finish a little bit more sweet on there, you might think that that, that is this one. This is also, like I said before, 122.8 proof. So it's going to sip a lot hotter than anything else that we have today. And the other thing is this is 5.6 years old. That's a little bit older than most stuff coming out of Pennsylvania that is distilled in Pennsylvania itself. There's a lot of whiskey that is sourced, which means they buy it from another producer, maybe in Indiana, which is a bottle that we have up here, or Kentucky or something like that. So that's the Pennsylvania that we have here, which I believe is what we're sipping on right here. But let's get into glass number two and see if we can distinguish between these two. Second sip, cheers y'all. So moving on to our second bottle, I gotta be honest, I'm not quite sure which one that is right now. I have not had this McLaughlin Distillery 3799, and this is my first time dealing with Epsi House outside of the few samples that I had downstairs provided by bottle. But this right here, the one thing about this is it's got a very good history behind it. If you're very interested about the Epsi House story, George Washington was there during the Whiskey Rebellion. The big thing here in Pennsylvania was the Whiskey Rebellion when they tried to tax whiskey and we said, we're not gonna allow that to happen, so we fought back. So that's the Epsi House. This is coming in at 102 proof, so I'm not quite sure if that's 102 proof coming off the 122 proof. But let's get into this one right here and then we'll tell you a little bit about our last bottle. Cheers, y'all. So the last bottle that we are drinking tonight is McLaughlin Distillery. This is the 3799 Bourbon Whiskey. And the reason I picked this particular bottle, like I said before, the PA Bourbon Squad, if you're from Pennsylvania or the surrounding areas, shout out PA Bourbon Squad. They have over 17,000 members at this point, and this came highly recommended as a bottle distilled here in Pennsylvania, which means they use local grains to make this bottle here in Pennsylvania. Now, the thing about this bottle that is very interesting is it doesn't say straight bourbon on it, and this is something you might learn. If it says straight bourbon on it, it has to be at least two years old, but if it's under four years, they do have to put an age statement on it. So the fact that this doesn't say straight bourbon, but this bottle over here does say straight bourbon, this doesn't have an age statement on it, which means we know legally this has to be older than four years old. This bottle, again, with the color on it, we can assume that there is some age to this, but technically this could have been put in a barrel for at least, I don't know, 30 seconds, and they can call it bourbon because it does not say bourbon straight whiskey on it. Just something you might learn. But let's drink these one more time, then we'll pick our favorites, and we'll tell everybody in the audience what they're drinking today. I'm going back to number one, which again, I'm assuming is this Pennsylvania over here, 122 proof, 
plus that color on there. That's that port finish that we were talking about. Gives me like a strawberry or more of a cherry, like a red fruit note with a little bit of that wine influence behind it, which is really good. This is also a five grain. Most, most bourbons or whiskeys that you use will do three grains. That's obviously gotta be at least 51% corn. From there, they can mix it up with the secondary grain as rye or wheat. Then there's always a third grain, which is usually malted barley. This one has all three. And again, the transparency from this company is awesome. It's a big thing with the whiskey community being transparent about what's in your whiskey. It tells you right on the bottle, 53% corn, 23% wheat, 12% barley, 6% rye, and then 6% oats, which is actually kind of a little bit more rare when it comes to the bourbon world. The oats on this, I think it gives it a little bit of a chocolatey flavor. And then again, mixed with those other grains, gives it that red fruit note. So it's like a chocolate covered strawberry or something like that. Very good. And for a Pennsylvania whiskey at 5.6 years old, very, very good. I still don't know between these two, I'll be honest with you. I don't know if this is the McLaughlin or the Epsi House. The McLaughlin, we didn't tell you, I think this is only 90 proof. So this one's 90 proof. This is 120, or this is 102 proof. This is 122 proof. Between 90 and 102, I, I felt like I'd be able to pick it up. I'm going to say this one, while I think this one has a little bit more heat on it, but this one has a little bit more oak on it. I don't usually like that oaky finish at the end, dries out the tongue a little bit. So I think I'm going to give the nod to this. These, are, these two are very close, but I'm going to put this one in here just because I do like that sweeter finish. Again, I'm not normally a port finish guy. Again, assuming this is the port finish, but I do like that one a little bit better than this. This was very close when it comes to it, but we're going to bring Marissa back on mm -hmm. to tell me what I'm drinking, and then I'll tell you guys what you guys are sipping on. All right, you ready? Do you want to just tell me what you think? I think... Okay. No, I don't know. I think this... <laughs> I thought this was the higher proof one first, right? This is all I Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Rule number one, finish your whiskey. Mm -hmm. This is the Epsi house. That one we Which know. One? This is the Epsi house. Okay. The bourbon of the week, original glass logo. You can buy that downstairs, $25. Hats are 32. Um, this is the McLaughlin. And then this one is the <clears throat> Pennsylvania. Well, well, you are a bourbon of the week and you're my husband and you're right. That's right. Baby. <laughs> so that means- you have to tell them there, so. Yes, we will tell them what's up. I was surprised that the McLaughlin didn't get a little bit more love here. It's a little bit oaky for me. If you like that oaky, but again, I didn't, it doesn't have a, a straight or an age statement on there. So it didn't, it didn't seem like it should have been over oaked. What was everybody's favorite colored cup? We got pink, orange, that, that drank it blind. If you drank them blind, what color? What, what was your favorite colored cup? Orange, orange. Pink, blue, orange, 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 pink, Gwen, pink. All right, so we have a lot, we have a little bit of a mix over here. You wanna tell people what it is? All right, if you're sipping a blue cup, you've got the Espy. The Espy was the blue cup, which again was my favorite coming out of this one. This one was 102 proof. The pink cup is the McLaughlin. 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 Pink cup, pink cup was the McLaughlin. Yeah, $37.99, that's a 90 proof. Nice and easy, nice and easy. And then the orange. The orange was the hottest one, which was the Pennsylvania Mid-State Distillery. We got a lot of orange likes up we there. We did have a lot of orange likes up there. Orange, some of you guys like your proof, I like that. No bourbon bombs today, no bourbon bomb. This was our bourbon bomb. I'll finish this glass for you for my bourbon bottle. I don't have it. I got one. You got one? So that's where we're going to wrap you up with today. I appreciate everybody who came out to my first live event. This was absolutely awesome. Thank you to Bottle. Thank you to Bottled for hosting. Again, if you want anything downstairs, you can get 20% off. Just let them know right now today. Bottle did an amazing job with this event. They got great food. They have great whiskey for us. If you're not already checking them out, they have online distributors you can buy from, or you can check them out downstairs here at King of Prussia or two places in Philadelphia, B-O-T-L-D.com. Check out Bottle. Appreciate everybody stopping by. Make sure you check me out on Instagram at Bourbon of the Week. Go click that follow button over there. Click that like and subscribe button here on YouTube. I appreciate you stopping by. Make sure you don't drink a drive. Always drink responsibly. Stay healthy, stay happy, and stay doing live events in front of family, friends, and patients. Cheers, y'all. Your bourbon bomb.